We're now going to look at category six of our environmental classification of water and excreta related diseases. And category six comprises the insect vector diseases. Now, vectors can breed in water, for example, those which transmit malaria or filariasis, or they can bite preferentially near water, for example, African trypanosomiasis or sleeping sickness. And of course, some vectors do both. The black fly, Simulium damnosum, which transmits river blindness, onchocerciasis, breeds in and bites near water. With mosquitoes, we have two groups, very broadly, the clean water and the dirty water breeders. The clean water breeders are the anopheline mosquitoes, and they transmit malaria, yellow fever, dengue fever, and so on. The dirty water breeders are the culicines, and they transmit filariasis. Malaria is currently a disease associated with poverty. These two maps show an almost exact coincidence of the burden of malaria and the burden of poverty, concentrated, as you'd expect, in developing countries. Malaria accounts for one in five of all childhood deaths in Africa. It causes low birth weight, anemia, epilepsy, and learning difficulties, but it's both preventable and treatable. This chart shows that malaria mainly kills African children under the age of five. The other part of the world where malaria kills children is Papua New Guinea, but it's mainly African children who are killed by malaria. Bancroftian filariasis is spread in most, but not all parts of the developing world, by culicine mosquitoes, the dirty water breeders. It's caused by the helminth Wuchereria bancrofti, the adult worms live in and eventually block the lymph vessels, and over time this leads to the clinical extreme of the disease, which is known as elephantiasis, gross swelling and deformity of the genitals and or the lower legs and feet. Included in this category of water and excreta-related diseases are any of the excreta-related diseases which can be spread by flies or cockroaches. The seventh and final category comprises the rodent vector diseases. And these are any excreta-related disease which can be spread by rodents and especially by rats. The principal disease spread by rats is leptospirosis, which is caused by the spiral-shaped bacterium Leptospira interrogans. So in summary, here we have the seven categories of water and excreta-related communicable diseases. Category 1 comprises the fecooral, waterborne and water wash diseases. Category 2, the non fecooral water wash diseases. Category 3, the geohelminthiases, the soil transmitted worm diseases. Category 4, teniasis, the tapeworm diseases. Category 5, the water based diseases, such as schistosomiasis. And category 6 and 7, the insect vector and rodent vector diseases. Further information on all these diseases are given in this paper, which I wrote with Richard Feacham um, a few years ago, Water and Excreta Related Diseases, a Unitary Environmental Classification, and that's included on this same CD. Finally, I'd like to acknowledge the huge contribution made to this area by Professor David Bradley of the London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine. When he was working in East Africa in the late 1960s, he developed the environmental classification of water-related diseases. And this introduced for the first time the hugely important distinction between waterborne and water-washed disease transmission. And arguably, this is the most important contribution to the understanding of water-related disease made in the 20th century. <laughs>